So we recently found out that the upcoming Dragon Ball Super movie in December is going to have a tie-in to the distant past and the history of the Saiyans. In fact, in a recent interview, it was confirmed that the film will delve into the backstory of Frieza and the Saiyans. Now, they've already told a big chunk of this backstory, but there appears to be another side to this story that we don't know. And most recently in Dragon Ball Super, with the introduction of Universe 6, some new layers have been added to the story. But, if we go all the way back to what the original series told us, and to what Daizenshu 7 specifically states, that paints a picture of what went on back then. Dragon Ball Encyclopedia Daizenshu 7 provides an explicit timeline of all the events that took place in the history of the series, and outlines what actually went on and tells us the years that these things went on. What we know is that at some point between age 720 and 730, it was during that decade, that is when the Sephurians and the Saiyans had their little civil war. Now, for those who don't remember, the majority of this story was outlined in Dragon Ball Z Episode 20. Now, Dragon Ball Z Episode 20 is about 90% filler, and it was not in the manga, but it is confirmed from the anime staff that the story, the entire backstory of the Saiyans, was created by Akira Toriyama. So, that story that's told in that episode also applies to the manga so nonetheless at one point on planet plant lived the saiyans and the sephurians otherwise known as the tuffles in the english dub and at some point between age 720 and 730 there was a civil war and the sephurians were wiped out and the sephurians had superior technology but even their technology was not enough to be able to compete against the incredible power of the saiyans especially when the full moon hit as a result of the defeat of the Sephurians, the Saiyans not only adopted their technology like the Scouters and things like that, also spaceships and things like that, as well as renaming the planet from Planet Plant to Planet Vegeta. Probably because at that time, King Vegeta, who would be the Vegeta that we know's father, was probably some kind of war hero or war leader and proclaimed himself as king and thus changed the name of the planet from plant to planet Vegeta. And of course, this would mean the eradication of the Sephurian race entirely. The relationship between the Saiyans and Frieza would not begin until age 731, and Vegeta, the one that we know of in the series, King Vegeta's son, was born in age 732. This is all from the guidebooks, the Daizenshu 7. And what's interesting about all this is that even though it's presumed that the Frieza, like a lot of fans think that Frieza was the one who gave them the technology, Frieza's forces did have technology, but prior to Frieza ever even meeting the Saiyans, they were already very sufficient when it came to, like I said, not just scouters, but also spaceships. They ventured into space themselves. Now, what's interesting about this is that it's pretty much implied based on Toriyama's more recent, I guess you can call it retcon or kind of addition to the story, that the Saiyans may have already had some kind of tech prior to this. And what I mean by that is this. What happens in Dragon Ball Super with the introduction of Kaba in Universe 6 and Vegeta's comments about Planet Sadala change things. Essentially, the Saiyan homeworld was never Planet Plant slash Planet Vegeta. It was Planet Sadala. There was a Planet Sadala in Universe 7 at some point prior to all of this happening and it is unclear. We do not know exactly how it happened, but at some point the Saiyans migrated to Planet Plant, and then that began the Civil War, or perhaps they migrated over and just began the conquering right away. It's not really specified exactly what happens, but Daizenshu 7 writes it as, the Saiyans unite and begin a rebellion. So that implies that they were on the planet at some point prior to that, but they're not originally from that planet. And that changes the lore to a degree, because... Now we're not sure exactly when they acquired this tech or how they even got to that planet. And perhaps the movie will give us an answer. So as I was saying earlier, the relationship between Frieza and the Saiyans began in age, right around age 731. And the race would be aligned with Frieza for about six years. Because in age 737 is when all hell broke loose. And that is the year that Frieza destroyed planet Vegeta. And that's also the year that Kakarot 
aka Son Goku, was born. There are still a number of unanswered questions that hopefully the film will explain to us and answer for us and hopefully do it without contradicting any of this lore. And I'm hoping that it's going to take us to an era before all of this happened when they were on Planet Plant because something had to have happened then and there. We also know about the legend of Yamoshi, but we're unsure of the time frame of when this legend happened. Toriyama did not give during his interview any specific outlines about when the whole Super Saiyan God fiasco actually occurred, but it's presumed to have happened between age 720 and 730 at some point during that time period. As it stands right now, the entire history of the Saiyan warrior race has only been partially revealed, and I hope that the film will tell us the rest of the story. Anyways, thanks for checking out this video. If you are new to Geekdom 101, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you get notified of all my uploads and become a member of the Geek Army as I try to give you the best content that I possibly can. Thank you so much. Hope you have a great day and let's hope this movie in December is awesome.